I'd say we got about all the kindling we can carry, Belly. Yep, I'd say so. And besides, it's getting on to dusk, so we better start heading back. That's okay by me, Bob. Because, uh, actually, it's, uh, getting us a little scary now. Look. There. Who is it, Bob? Can't tell, Billy. I never seen him. You ever seen him? Nope. Never. Is he a spook, Bob? Don't know. But looks like he's heading for the village. And we better get there first. Come on, I know a shortcut. Rankin Bass present Festival of Family Classics. Some tale about the legendary American apple grower Johnny Appleseed. So bring on the whole family. All right now, who else? Who else is going to step right up here and lay down one little bitty silver dollar for a priceless? That's right, I said priceless bottle of Dr. Staywell Super Health Tonic. The cheapest and the best little insurance policy you can buy against the cold and the misery. That's right, I said the certain misery of the fast approaching winter. Who else? You, sir. Okay, sounds good to me. Now, there's a gentleman of sound judgment. A gentleman who'll be padding through the winter in the pink of hell. Excuse me, Doc. But there's something strange just happened in the woods. While Billy and me was out there gathering wood just now, we saw someone might be spooky. What did they look like? He was wearing coffee sacks, and he had a, a cooking pot in his head, yep. and there was a raccoon squatting on top of the pot, and two little birds perching on the pot handle. And he was putting a lot of little things into the ground as he walked. Bob, I think you've been spending too much time in the woods. No, it's the truth. Bob and me saw him. I think the whole thing's crazy as crows in a corn shed. Wait, look what's coming. Howdy, everyone. Uh, hello there. Uh, who are you? I ain't nobody to be afeard of, so rest easy. I'm John Chapman, but kid folks and big folks and sometimes even animal folks been calling me Johnny Appleseed since I can't recollect. John Appleseed, I've heard that name. I have too. Reckon that's because I've been through these parts before, about two orchards ago. Orchards? Yes, sir. Apple orchards. You mean them two orchards out by the creek? That's them. You seeded them orchards? Right out of this trusty old sack. So, we wasn't the first folks in Indiana after all. I've been moving west ahead of frontier folk for 25 years. Just planting orchards? In my life's work. Well, you're welcome here, John Appleseed. Yes, yes sir. Right. Much obliged. I hope my little friends here are welcome, too. Little friends, too? Allow me to introduce you. This here's Chipper. Do your pleasantries. <laughs> These two lovebirds is named Mac and Tosh. Uh, <clears throat> Mac and Tosh. Where are the greeting manners I taught you? And up there is Bushy, my trusty raccoon. What are you supposed to do now? <laughs> can I pet him? Sure can. What's your name? Billy Crowley. You want apple, Billy? Sure would. You eat apples much? Not too much. Should. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. What was that? You say uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? That's right. <laughs> well, that sure is a new one. Plum crazy one, too, if you ask me. True as a deer's track. 
and I got enough apples in the sack here to go around at least once. No, thanks, Johnny. About to eat dinner. Winter's coming. Gonna be a cold one. They're gonna be all ready for it, too. We're getting ready, all right. Got just one more house to finish patching. And besides that, we got plenty of health tonic from Doc Staywell here. Health tonic? That's right, from the good doc here. Uh-huh, I see. Well, bet you could use some help finishing up on that house. Sure could. Johnny, you're a saint to be helping with all this work. Johnny, you'll be sharing our lunch now, you hear? Thanks, Mr. Tatham. But I got the best lunch a man could eat right in this spot. <laughs> Johnny, you sure put a heap of stock in them silly apples. <laughs> but apples is dang near all a man needs in his belly. You see, apples is brimming over with terrific health-giving virtues. That's why apples is what's prescribed for us all by Dr. Nature. Dr. Yeah. Nature? <laughs> That's Mother Nature's oldest son. He went straight into medicine. And I tell you something else. You see, apples can even give you muscles. Ones like you never dreamed of. Apples got a good flavor, Johnny. There's no denying that. And they're said to put a pupil on the sweet side of a schoolmarm. But other than that, ain't an apple's just an apple. No, sir, Ree. The plain truth is, apples is medicine. Pure, natural, preventive medicine. Johnny, you're a real nice fella. But your ideas is beginning to lean pretty far to the loony side. Besides, like we said before, we get all the medicine we need from Doc Staywell. <laughs> well, back to work. We'd like some of your apples, Johnny. Okay. I'll trade you some apples for what you know about this Doc Staywell. It's a deal. Right after work. Doc Staywell is this uh, funny-talking doctor who came here in a wagon just a few days ago. You ever seen inside his wagon, Billy? No. You, Jenny? Uh-uh. Rich? Me neither. Well, I think we should have ourselves a look. Do you think your folks got any notion of how he makes that health tonic or what he puts in it? I don't think so. Mine neither. If you ask me, they're buying it mostly on account of them fancy bottles and labels and that fancy name. Yeah, if you ask me too. What about apples, Johnny? Are they really good medicine like you were telling the elders? There's this little secret about apples, see? A secret that's chock full of the wisdom of Mother Nature herself. You eat just one big red ripe apple each day between now and December, just one, and you'll be healthy as a hummingbird all this coming winter. And that's the honest truth. Okay, Johnny. I'll try it. Me too. Me too. Wish your folks was that easy to persuade. We gotta figure a way to convince them now and get them out of Staywell's clutches. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we make our own health medicine out of Johnny's apples? And we'll put it up in fancy bottles with fancy labels, and we can make up our own fancy name. Right. And our folks will like it better in Doc Staywell's, because it'll taste so much better. That's it, all right. A terrific plan. 